Look, I get it. Sometimes it can be pretty difficult to try to stay up to date with all the really good anime each season, you know? For a few reasons. Like maybe you just finished watching the really good anime from last season that you missed. Or perhaps you were, you know, lost in a fan fiction slash fan art forum for Yuri of Ice until right now. Or maybe you accidentally watched Handshakers earlier this season and were so disgusted with anime for a while that, you know, you, you were kind of driven away for a bit. I get it. That's why, in order to help with staying caught up with really good anime this season, I decided to make this list of seven anime that you should be watching, either because they're really good or because they're really interesting, and I think you might get something out of them. So no particular order, here we go. Number one, Kobayashi Sanchi no Maid Dragon, AKA Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Why is there a show this season where a ferocious dragon transforms into a cute maid girl? Because Japan, that's why. Seriously though, the premise is basically as follows. Out drunk in the mountains one night, the protagonist, Miss Kobayashi, helps an injured dragon named Toru and in her drunken state suggests the dragon move in with her. In love with Miss Kobayashi and hoping to repay her debt, Toru soon moves in as her maid. This of course soon attracts the attention of other dragons and hijinks ensue. The premise may be strange, but the story is cute and seeing all the dragons in human form trying to adapt to human customs is quite funny. Number 2. Mase Munikun No Revenge aka Mase Munikun's Revenge in real life, revenge is usually anything but funny. It's like an obsession of sorts that consumes people until they can think of nothing but getting even. Luckily, this isn't real life, and the concept of revenge in this show is hilarious. You see, as a child, Masai Muni Makabe was very fat, and when he confessed his love to his wealthy friend named Aki Aragaki, she nicknamed him Piggy and said she could never love him. Heartbroken, Masai Muni disappeared for a few years, got super hot, and now he is back as a high school student capable of making any teenage girl swoon. However, he is here with the mission, damn it. Make Aki Aragaki fall in love with him, reveal who he is, then dump her super hard. All for revenge. Such a lust for revenge. If that doesn't sell it to you, I don't know what will. Number three, Yujo Senki aka Saga of Tanya the Evil. This next anime is quite weird. Set during an alternate reality World War I, but with magic, the show follows a blonde-haired, blue-eyed little girl named Tanya Dugarashoff. Though just a child, she is infamous as a ruthless soldier, commander, and mage out on the front lines. In reality though, Tanya is an elite Japanese salaryman, reincarnated as a little girl in 1910s Europe as punishment for angering a mysterious being who calls himself God. So yeah, this one's pretty weird, and I don't honestly care for it much. To me that twist sounds stupid and like the show tries too hard to be hardcore. However, I know that a lot of people this season like it, and I do have to grudgingly admit that it is original. Check it out and form your own opinion. Number 4, Kono Subarashi Saikai ni Shukufuku wo 2, aka Kono Suba Season 2. Back for its second season is the story of Kazuma and his ragtag adventurer group. For anyone not familiar with the show, the premise is your basic trapped in a video game world anime. Both protagonist Kazuma find himself in an RPG like land after dying in the real world. However, while similar shows like Sword Art Online and ReZero take themselves super seriously, Konosuba goes out of its way to be anything but. Not only do I enjoy the humor of the show, but I love that the characters aren't your usual goody two-shoes, Mary Sue-like heroes. In fact, I would almost have to compare them to being like a mix of the cast of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Archer, in that they are all kind of bad people, there is a certain workplace dynamic going back and forth, and that they never learn any better, and most of all, nobody except them can stand each other as friends. And even then, it's barely. Number 5. Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju Sokeroku Futatabi Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju Sokeroku Futarabi Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju Sokeroku Futatabi Hen. God damn, that's a long title. AKA Descending Stories Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju. 
Another anime back for its second season is this underappreciated gem. That I have seen, this one doesn't really have an English translation, and that's because each part of the title means a different thing in Japanese and contributes to the theme or something like that. For the purpose of this review, all we need to know is the Rakugo part. Basically, Rakugo is a form of Japanese verbal entertainment in which a lone storyteller sits on a stage and using only a paper fan and a small cloth depicts a long and complicated comical story. So in a way, it is kind of like stand-up comedy, except the performer must remain in a certain sitting position at all times. What makes this anime great is that not only is it a drama involving the characters in this artistic branch, but it is almost like a lesson on a forgotten art form as well. Watching has not only brought me the very well written and animated character interactions, but gives me insight into a form of entertainment that I never would have known about otherwise. Number 6. Kuzu no Honkai aka Scum's Wish Scum's Wish basically goes like this. To everyone, our protagonists Hanabi Yasuroaka and Mugi Awaya seem like the perfect couple. However, that is not the truth. You see, Hanabi is in love with her much older childhood friend and neighbor Narumi Kanai who becomes her new homeroom teacher. Meanwhile, Mugi is in love with the music teacher, Akane Minagawa who used to tutor him in middle school. When Narumi and Akane seem to develop a relationship, Hanabi and Mugi are of course devastated. Feeling that only the other truly understands their pain, the two eventually decide to use each other as substitutes for the one they really love, sharing whatever intimacy to avoid facing their loneliness. Oh, two people using each other while trying to get with the one they truly like? This sounds kind of like Toradora, you might be saying. You are wrong, I reply. This anime has the characters go to places in the first episode the other romance anime don't do in their whole run. Not only that, but the ways in which the characters use each other, all to avoid being alone, is so screwed up and toxic for all involved that I know many people will end up hating the characters. I have a friend who says that he can't relate and that he thinks they are super retarded. And he isn't wrong. But yet, that is the point as well though. To watch these super broken people make horrible mistakes and let the hormones of adolescence guide them is so refreshing and so real in a medium where the common thing is to watch teens be too shy to even talk to each other and they have to make a grand confession to what's obvious and where it takes 12 episodes just to even hold hands. I very highly suggest it. Number 7. Little Witch Academia Last but certainly not least is Little Witch Academia. And well, what do you really want me to say? It's by Studio Trigger. You know, the studio that churns them out all the time and kills it basically every time. Who has been saving anime for what's years now? Yeah. But seriously though, all joking aside, Studio Trigger is doing a really good job with this one and you should watch it. Based off of existing short films, Little Witch Academia follows a little girl with no magical background named Akko Kagari who enrolls in a magical witch academy. So in a way, it's kind of like if it was Harry Potter, but starring Hermione. But yeah, the show's great. It's colorful, lighthearted, funny, cute, and a nice adventure. I don't want to spoil it for you. So if possible, just check it out, trust me. And so there you go guys, six anime that I am really enjoying this season and one that even though I don't personally enjoy it, I know that a lot of people could potentially like it, so I'm still really highly suggesting it. So yeah, I would suggest all of these anime and I would say go watch them or don't because as I always say, don't take anything I say too seriously. After all, I'm just a wannabe reviewer. Thanks for watching. Hello viewers, welcome once again to the land at the end of the video. Uh, I have to admit, I really had fun making this kind of video, you know, like list format sort of thing. And I mean, if I can, I guess I'll keep doing it. Hopefully you guys watching it enjoyed it or at least felt like you learned or could take something away from it so you know i guess i guess we'll see what happens there if you like the video why not let me know by giving it a thumbs up or if you disliked it you know go ahead and give it a thumbs down uh as always i'd really appreciate it if you could voice your opinion in the comments below you know if you have some sort of opinion something you want to share you know i'd appreciate it i always appreciate the criticism so I can learn um, but yeah if you happen to like the video you know why not subscribe so you can get more videos you know if you think I did well 
why not subscribe and ring the bell? Besides that, uh, I have social media you guys can follow me on. Should be on the screen. Speaking of on the screen, this nice artwork is courtesy of Broken X Note, whose information I'll leave in the description below in case you're interested in, you know, maybe your own artwork or something. And yeah, I mean, until next time, why not watch one of my older videos? The previous video I did was about the Netflix show, A Series of Unfortunate Events. So I'll leave the link to that in case you want to watch it. And, you know, if not, then next up, why not check out one of the videos in my playlist of my what if videos, where basically I say, you know, I take a concept and I think, what if it went this way? And then I kind of talk about it, you know? But yeah, until next time, guys, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope to jump down the media rabbit hole again with you all soon. Thank you.